we ventured into Japanese crafts. Now we are going where no nerdy crafter has gone before, Korean crafts. Hey Grains, today we're going to be trying something absolutely new, a Korean craft kit. With Japanese, I have a comfort zone because I can read the language a little bit and understand it, whereas when it comes to Korean, I know nada, nothing, zero, zip, nothing. So I'm really excited to try this. Don't ask me where I got this because this was sent to me by Delightful. We did an exchange package which you'll see come out next week, Monday. So make sure you're ready for a bonus video on Monday. So I'm really excited to try this. My only worry is that usually in other countries they don't underestimate kids. But the fact that this box says 8 plus worries me just a little. And I think my favorite part of this whole box is that the strawberries on that cupcake look like some mad eyebrows. And I am in love. The holiday seasons are great because sponsorships. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, which I'll show you what I did with the website later on in this video, but it's, it's, it's all good. So if you're looking for a platform that you can do websites, online stores, marketing, and have plenty of tools and analytics, Squarespace is the platform that has all of that so that you can run your business in a very pretty way. Today's shoutouts go to Harry Pugger and Mia Vera Kelly. If you want a shout out in my normally Friday videos, but it's the holidays, y'all get extra shout outs. Don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram or Twitter anytime with any of your creations. The only comforting thing about this box is that I see level and it says level one. So I, I could, as any smart person would have done, texted Delightful and asked her, what is this? Is it clay? Is it plastic? Is it air dry? Do I have to bake it? Do I have the instructions bake it? What do the instructions say? What should I search, online? Should I search online? online? See, these are all smart questions. But smart questions usually come from smart people. So I'm really excited because this box looks super colorful and as we see here in the back, it seems like we have glue. I don't know if this is glue or frosting. Oh my god, look at that. A mold? It, it might be clay, but I'm not sure because there's so many different kinds of clay. We have plastic clay, polymer clay, air dry clay, clay clay. That doesn't exist by the way, just don't listen to it. And then I'm not sure what these are. A plate and some utensils, which is really cute. Can we eat this? Is this edible? Is this candy? Maybe I should have messaged her. You know what? No. No! I am an independent grain. We got this. Time to see this. Up close. Oh my god, it comes in a tray. Why, why, why? You know what? You grains know what you want. So if you want me to do ASMR, I'll do it with craft stuff. I would just have to organize it smartly. You know what? I don't think we can eat this. All right, time to test what we get inside. So there's this super cute, colorful, instructional man. I wish I wish I had known how much this is going to cost, but it would be rude to ask. Delightful. It's absolutely adorable. So we get a fully colored guided illustration. I like that. I like it when you give me color. And in the back, we have the, I guess, do's and don'ts. Okay, and then these two containers, which I have no idea what they are, nor what the difference is. This one feels lighter. Obviously, it has wings on it. And this one also has wings on it, but it feels heavier. Oh, this is not clay. These are canes. We can make the fruit slices, as you can see here, by slicing up these canes. So if we have canes, it shouldn't be edible. So I'm not going to eat it. I'm not, I promise. Oh my gosh, this is so much smaller than I expected. We have the tiny molds. What are these for? Let me look at the box again. Cookie? No. It's like flowers and, and, and fireworks, I think. But I don't see on the box. I don't see it. And then we have some cute little tools, utensils, and this glue thing, which could actually just be frosting, so I don't know. I'm actually pretty disappointed because I see cute little hearts and cookies and strawberry. No, oh, but the mold doesn't have that. Okay, let's let's not saltiness intensify because this is not a salty review. This is me projecting my own wishes and desires on this poor box. This box is innocent. No, it's not. False advertisement. That's really interesting that we don't get to make cute little heart things. Wait, wait. How do we color these? All we're getting is white clay. 
So on top of the fact that I have no idea how we're going to be coloring this clay, I have no idea where our fruits went because according to the box, we get apple, kiwi, orange, and strawberry. But if you look at my canes, I have orange, lime, and strawberry. That's what I got. I got two fruits and seasoning. I guess the lime will go well with today's salt. We're making a salad. I'm going to take Google Translate because I don't know any Korean. And I'm going to take a picture of the instructions. Let's do that. I'm hoping this is the instructions over here. And I'm going to try and translate and then come back to you grains to let you know what's going on. All right. So I seem to think, I seem, I seem to think, wow. I seem to think that's, that's a good thing. Keep thinking, Jackie. That's important. I believe that this page here is going to tell us how to color because I just see paint and markers on the bottom left. So let's see what they're telling us to do here. I'm just going to go with this one because this one looks like they're actually coloring it. So let's select the text. It's an excellent clay for children who relax their minds with softness and moistness. That was awkward. Okay, so in addition to being moist children, how else do we color this? Watercolor, okay. Marker pen, highlighter. I have watercolor. The clay was dry. Sprinkle water gently. Put goi, put it. Then play, it is possible to rub. Translation, A+. plus. So I have my Artist Loft, which is a Michaels brand watercolor set. And I'm really excited to start now, despite, despite all the shortcomings. I still have some, some twinkle of hope in my soul. All right, so what? Whoa, hang on. Am I seeing this right? So that little mold, that tiny mold, is that our cupcake mold? Please tell me that's not so. I think it is. So we're working mega hyper tiny. That, that can't be true, can it? No, this has got to be misleading because if you see here, this is being popped out and it's going to be going as the base and then we're adding the top and then we're adding the decoration. If this is true, the decoration looks way bigger than the base, but it looks to be the same size, right? Let's just make one. Why am I looking for all the wrong things? Even though we have moist children, this, uh, this line is pretty interesting. The clay gets harder after it gets harder. Let's, let's make our first absolutely freakishly tiny piece. Wait, we didn't even try the actual clay. So this one is six grams. So it should be like the air dry clay. Let's hold it. Oh, that is really firm. So it does hold its shape really nicely. It's very fluffy. It feels like the Daiso or Dollar Store air dry clay. Put you back in there, but hey, stuck. And then we have this one, which is 20 grams. See, I knew one was heavier than the other. Oh, whoa, that one is way denser. And it feels kind of like a icing sugar, but not as sticky or gross. So we have a kind of icing sugar-ish. Maybe polymer clay. That's the best I could, I could mention. First things first, we need to actually color this fluffy clay. So let's take just a little bit because it's really tiny. And I'm gonna color this in the ecru. So I'm going to use the yellow ochre. It seems to be the closest to what we might want for the base. So let's put it in here. If it decides to come out, there we go. That actually colored it pretty nicely. All right, and we're going to go with the biggest cupcake. I don't I don't wanna try making something too small and then y'all gonna be like, you should have just made it easier on yourself. I know, so let's see, even this little bit is too big. Look at that. It's so tiny. I mean, good. Okay, how do I, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna scrape it off. It's too small. Grow up. Okay, I think, I think that's good enough and we can unmold it now. Holy carp. Look, look how tiny, I mean, good. Look how tiny this is. How? How is it that this box made me believe that it would be about this size? It is nowhere near the size of the box. Hang on, let me just, for comparison, <laughs> that's, that's our size right there. I'm gonna make like two more bases so we can move on. Time to make the chocolates. So these, these are really tiny portions. This is definitely gonna be way messier. One of the things I realized is it doesn't tell us exactly when to use the glue. So I'm going to assume that we just put the glue in between every step. Either it is telling us, and I don't know because Google Translate is not doing its job, or it's just not telling us and I have to make an assumption. So it's kind of like a milk chocolate. I'm gonna darken this. All right, so now step two, uh, it's just, it's ridiculous. Look at that. That's how ridiculous it is. Look at your tiniest of nails. And it's smaller than that. That's just how tiny it is. Okay, so we're supposed to put another flat piece on top of that one. I'm gonna assume we need glue. Do not sniff glue, that is bad for you. I'm just doing it for science. And I'm an adult. Okay, so let's, oh my gosh. So we're gonna go over here, put just a little bit of glue, and add a flat, oh my gosh, a flat piece, like so. And now we're gonna add glue again. Oh my god. I really like the fact that this nozzle is, is super, super slim. Is this big enough? 
Okay, so I'm gonna guess this is enough. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god. Okay, and I'm gonna press down. What a disaster. This doesn't even want to stay. I don't want all this instability. My god. I feel... <laughs> I'm gonna make this smaller. Let's try this again so y'all don't say... Dicky, you made it too big. I love you, Grace. It's not you. I'm making fun of this. It's the other ones. Try again, we're gonna put a little more glue. I don't care how old you are. There in my eye. If you have fingers small enough to manipulate this, you probably are way too young to be playing with this kit. Remember, this is eight and up. Oh my gosh, I don't think I had dexterity at that age. Okay, so we have glue again. And we're gonna try this again. This is, oh my gosh, this is so tiny. Okay, that's not, now it's getting crumbly. Let me just add a little water to this. It did say it on the kit, like if it's getting dry, we can add a little water, so. And cat hair, let's do this again. Cooperate. You stable. We need you. No. No. I've done really tiny sculptures, and I kid you not, they have not given me this much heartache. This should be good enough. No, it's not. So this is what we have so far. Let's go ahead and cut the decorations and put them right on top. So I'm going to take my orange cane, slice it so that it's exactly like in the picture. What we want to do is try and mimic as much as possible what they give us in the instructions. So let's slice this orange. Don't be difficult to slice. Supposed to be easy enough for an eight-year-old. Oh my god, I think my blade just broke. Then we cut this in half. The other thing I don't understand in the pictures is they tell us to make this cute little heart. But in the picture, I kid you not, it looks shaded and textured. Now, the tools they gave us do neither. So we have this cute little tool. I mean, none of these would be helpful for clay that is not hardened yet. So we have these tweezers, a ball tool, which is way too big for anything we would be making. I'm not sure what this is for, maybe designs. And then this is the closest thing we would have to texture, but it is nowhere near what the texture on the actual cookie looks like because it looks like a toothbrush kind of texture, which I've done in numerous other videos. And also the shading looks like shock, pi shock pistols. <laughs> chalk pastel. I think we were supposed to make our heart cookie with the other one. I don't wanna, I don't wanna recolor it. So let's just pretend this is our heart. Oh my god, it's so tiny and it's so hard to shape. There we go. That's, that's good enough. That's our heart and I'm sticking to it. And I dropped it. That, that's the thing with this kit is it's so tiny. I'm dropping things left, right, up, down. Don't ask me how I'm dropping things up, but this kit is making me do it. Okay, we need our glue again. It's so tiny. So we're gonna put the heart over here, like so. And put our cookie, like so. And a little glue. I know you can't see me because I'm hiding down here, but I promise you, this is the only way I could see anything. Probably I should cut my hair, right? Probably see better. Where's the cap? And the second one, it's like surgery. Very delicate. Okay, I'm gonna leave this for about 10 minutes and hopefully it hardens just enough. I'm really getting annoyed at this wonky heart. So here's our chocolate cupcake. It is so tiny, the heart looks a little weird. I don't know if the glue is going to work, but even in the picture on the pamphlet itself, you can see the glue, not like the glue disappears. But now I want what I want to make, it is just so tiny. Look how tiny it is. And I realized that the face on the box is photoshopped. See the salt was coming up? I almost choked on that. <clears throat> Weirdly enough, this denser polymer clay smells like school glue. That is so interesting. Yep, 100% smells like the vinegar of the school glue. made. The littlest one is the one that I did off camera simply because it would be impossible to get something this this tiny without my fat fingers getting in the way. And even though you could see how small it is, when we put it next to the other cupcake, which I already thought was pretty minuscule, it, it just it becomes a dwarf. 
I already thought that the chocolate one and the, the vanilla one were pretty tiny, and I'm not quite sure what I would use them for. But then to make something even tinier, I mean, look at it next to a slice of orange. What would we use it for? I mean, it can't even be used as decoration because it'll be lost. Can't really put it in resin piece because it's just way too small to be appreciated. What would you use it for? So imagine if I were to use all the other bits. I didn't even use the tools really because I didn't find them that useful, especially the clay is pretty fragile. So yeah, the biggest piece was this mold and the smallest piece was that one. I don't know why I'm satisfied now. I hope you greens enjoyed this. It was just something easygoing that I really wanted to try because I've never tried any kind of Korean crafts. And if I did, um, I'm not aware of it. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, today we are sponsored by Squarespace. If you don't know what Squarespace is, it's an online platform that you can build your website and it's an all-in-one platform. So there's nothing that you have to patch or have to install. Everything really is on the website itself. And with all the templates that they have, they made it so easy for me to build a site for Salty Crafter. So I had a little too much fun. And as I was building the website, it was really easy for me to see exactly what it would look like either on tablet, a phone, or the computer. So I invite you to check out the um, Salty Crafter under construction website. They also have so many marketing tools, so if it's something that you're looking into as a crafter or an artist, because I know so many of you are doing that, if ever you get stuck, they have 24-7 customer service. So whether you have your own domain or are looking to make a new one, feel free to check out the link squarespace.com slash nerdycrafter for 10% off your domain. So thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to watch a crafting video, make sure you check it up here. And if you want to watch a salty review, Check it out down here. Last video was that of the Harry Potter Cano kit, which so many of you requested. So if you haven't seen it yet, head on over there. Until then, I will see you greens in the next video.